Get ready to battle your way through six new sea forts. Strive for exciting new rewards and uncover secrets of the past with a new pirate legend voyage. There's all this and more in Sea of Thieves Season 6. Season 6 introduces haunted sea forts into the Sea of Thieves. And these new on-demand encounters are perfect for players intent on a short sail. Storm the fort and take on waves of phantom soldiers. If you can send these sinister spectres back to the Sea of the Damned, you'll be able to grab the treasury key. And then the precious loot within is yours for the taking. Just remember to have a rummage through the cupboards to see what else the phantoms had stashed away. The sea forts have been designed to offer a shorter, easier challenge compared to the other forts in the world. And as they're on demand, you can set sail knowing there's a guaranteed encounter on the horizon. The six sea forts that you'll find throughout the Sea of Thieves are also the perfect place to roleplay. Claim one as your own personal hideout and defend it from incoming rival crews. Or maybe you could cook up a storm and invite your friends round for a meal by the warming glow of the fire. We're also introducing a new replayable Pirate Legend Voyage which will launch in the second half of Season 6. You'll face a variety of new challenges which will change each time you play. And through the story of this voyage, you'll uncover more about the ancient people who inhabited the Sea of Thieves long ago. There's still plenty to reveal about this new Pirate Legend voyage, so keep an eye on the horizon for more information later in the season. Season 6 also brings in another 100 levels of spectacular rewards to unlock, which are free to all players. This includes the Dark Relic's flag and sails for your ship, and the entire Naval Commander clothing set. Pirate Legends can even bag Belle's hat and the mysterious Cutlass. And there are Emissary Ledger rewards too, with legendary ship parts and dazzling new weapons to unlock. And with Season 6, there's also a new Plunder Pass, available as an optional purchase, where you can unlock three variations of the Forest's Blessing costume, the entire Spring Blossom Collector ship set, as well as 250 ancient coins. And over in the Pirate Emporium, there are new items in store. Whether you're shooting, stabbing, or maiming your rivals, you can now do it in style with the spiked Isle Hopper Outlaw weapon set. And while this might not have been what they meant when they asked to see your guns, who wouldn't be impressed with the extra cool moves of the bunch of posers of Moat Bundle? The brutal aesthetic of the Isle Hopper Outlaw costume might have been styled after the Bandit Gang's favourite fish, but don't expect those wearing it to be wet behind the ears. And everyone will know it's time to hide their valuables when they see these sails on the horizon. When a crew is rocking the Isle Hopper Outlaw ship set, mischief and mayhem are sure to follow in their wake. And prepare to unleash musical mayhem and whip your audience into a frenzy with the gnarly Isle Hopper Outlaw Banjo. Ah, so I guess that means no encore. So gather your crew and set off on your voyage to earn all new rewards and fight fearsome phantoms in our spectacular sea forts in Sea of Thieves Season 6. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you just saw and want to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news, then hit subscribe and click that little ship's bell for all those notifications. Cheers.